Well, it's late in the tomato season, but we're still getting a lot of tomatoes. We've got all we need to use, so we're giving away to a friend who would like to can some. After a while, when they quit, well, I'll pull the plants. But right now, we're going to plant this side. Now we got it tilled up for our winter crops. And get them so they be rooted in so they can make it through the winter. I guess maybe we should can some more since we have so many. But we all already have a lot of canned tomatoes. Okay, so what we're going to plant today is beets, lettuce, kale, spinach, some carrots. I'm going to try some carrots. I don't know how they'll do right now. Radishes and Swiss chard. I think we're going to start with the beets down on the north end. I'm going to be the seed spreader. And I'm going to be the raker to work the seeds into the soil. But what I'm going to do is just scatter the seeds out on the ground in, in kind of a, a large block because I'm starting with beets. We really like beets, especially beets fresh out of the the garden and winter beets are wonderful so I'm gonna just reach out here as far as I can and scatter these beet seeds the best that I can so I've sown seed down the the three ribs here of the the high tunnel and old guy's ready to rake he's just gonna drag his rake lightly across there and uh, bury the seeds just barely. We're going to run water down through here with drip tapes and hopefully have it keep it moist from now until they all germinate. I just thought that I'd show you what we we're planting for beets. They're uh, common Detroit dark red, not a hybrid or anything, just an open pollinated seed. Next, I'm going to plant spinach, and I usually like to plant space spinach, but they were out of it when I ordered it, so I got a variety called Lizard. It comes from Johnny's Seed, and it's supposed to do well over the winter in a high tunnel situation. With the sun shining, it, even though it's chilly outside, it's hot in here, so we're going to drop the curtain a little. Just enough to bring some fresh air across here. Molly, you're laying where I want to plant some radishes. Next, I'm going to plant Chow Chow Blend radishes. It's a combination of white and pink and red radishes. We don't eat as many radishes, so I'm just going to go one bow length uh, to to do a space about like what you can see on the camera right now. Next I'm going to do some carrots and carrot seed doesn't last very well over more than one year so I don't feel like I'm losing out to try it. We have plenty of room and I'm just going to scatter some carrot seeds out in here. This next space is going to be shared between uh, kale and chard, Swiss chard because uh, we don't need a whole lot of either one of those and they grow really well and if we have spinach then I prefer spinach. Did you get the kale and the Swiss chard planted on this section? Yeah, yeah, I got them down there. You can rake that part in. Well, the only thing I have left is lettuce and I actually, I admit, I brought romaine lettuce. I wanted to bring some romaine lettuce, but I also wanted to bring some butter crunch lettuce because I, I like it better. So I'm going to plant some romaine and then I'll have to go back to the house to get the butter crunch. I have to go back down to the house and uh, get, get the other seeds. Can you think of anything else we could plant that would carry over for the winter? I don't I can't think of them now. Okay. And we got my beets and things. You don't care about the rest of it. You like carrots. <laughs> I do, but I don't have any hope to get them. Okay. 
Okay, I gotta look through all these containers and see if I can find uh, my butter crunch lettuce because I'm pretty sure it's in here. I know I had some old butter crunch lettuce that I wanted to use up, but I couldn't find it. So I actually this I just bought that recently and it's got a pretty old date on it. It was packaged in a year ago. And then I found some uh, pock choy seeds, so I'm going to do that too. Now we're going to have to bring a drip line for the water down through here. And before I turn them on, I'm going to spray the top to try to get an even start for the sprouting process. When I lifted this drip line from our uh, green bean rows, I tried to put it down where I could find the end, and I just found it on this one. So it should unfold without having to walk on it. <laughs> Whoa! I'm gonna walk it and try to get it, make sure it's straight all the way. It has a blue line on one side, and that is the side that the little emitter holes are on, and so we want to make sure it's facing down so the water goes to the ground. And we're pretty good uh, up until we get close to the end. And right there we have a little kink, so we got to get that straightened out. And then that one straightened out itself. And one more. And we're good. So now this can all go. I pulled it over and make it. The end has a knot in it, so the water might seep a little bit out the end but for the most part the water will be stopped at that knot okay and now he's bringing the other line down and I think you did a really good job laying it up there so you could pull it right down without having tangles in it yeah. I've learned the hard way to do that The only way you do it when you're doing it is to start that end and fold it as you come down. Next one, and I'm going to walk it down, make sure there are no kinks in that one. On these kinks, I need to be careful that I don't do something that creates a hole in, in the drip line because then you can get a leak that uh, you're going to have to come in and repair. Okay, I think that's good. I wish the the west one was over toward the middle a little bit. It's awful close to the it's awful close to the the walkway we've got here. Well, we planted a winter crop a couple of days ago. And now we have to be sure we have sufficient water to get the roof established for full winter. And so, uh, again, it takes part of the time, but it's worth it. And we're pleased greatly with the uh, uh, winter crop last year. And if we don't have too severe a winter, uh, we'll probably have a good crop with it. At least that's what we're working for. Uh, if if our plants get up and we hit a exceptionally cold period of time, <coughs> we have a floating row cover that we can place over this and protect them from freezing for a short period of time anyway. And most stuff we plant can take a freeze anyway and not kill it. When the sun shines during the day like it is today, the south will get very warm quickly. 
and so we would have to open the windows or the sides some in a pretty cool day to keep from getting too hot in here. So anyway we're trying to get some good eating through the winter and spring and hopefully we'll achieve that.